Um, I'm not sure how well I'll be able to do this. Please be careful. You gotta admit, man, the man is a legend. I, you know. That's a heck of a view. This just in, Mini Mayhem 2021 is happening October 22nd through 24th, 2021. Join us for our 1 million subscriber celebration at Busco Beach in Goldsboro, North Carolina. We're going to have giveaways. We will provide one meal from us and exclusive t-shirts only if you show up. Enjoy the video. See you soon. Next month, actually. What's up, everybody? On this special episode of Cars and Cameras, we are in the Rocky Mountains with Go Power Sports, testing different flavors of mini bikes. We have a bike anywhere from stock to heavily modified 25 horsepower built to the hilt. And right now we're testing basically extreme use cases for mini bikes to show you kind of what performance you're getting at each price point, rather it be an entry level, a lightly modified, nice mini bike to a completely built high end bike. So uh, we're each gonna be on a different style bike. We're gonna hit the road, find some challenges, beauty spots, and places to uh, just stop and see the sights. So let's hit the road, and we're gonna tell you a little bit more about the bikes. So Ike is on the mid-range bike here. It's a lightly modified Trailmaster MB200. And, uh, you know, it's going to be the most comfortable one, which you're still nursing that shoulder injury. So yes, I am. it's going to be the best one for you. And that, yeah. that big rear gear is really going to help for the up, uphill pulls. Definitely. So I'm on the high end and Charles is on the base model. I'm fine with that. I'm on the base model and I couldn't be happier. I know most people would want something a little bit more oomph, but I mean, look at where we're at. It's beautiful. I can't, can't find anything to be mad about. Let's hit it. We're going to catch up with the Go Power boys later. Yeah. We're going to hit some trails. Whew. Don't step on my friend down there. Oh, yeah, I'll try not to. like a great first challenge here buddy yes indeed look at that yeah i made sure to pull my goggles down so you can see how wide my eyes are getting <laughs> <laughs> um i'm not sure how well i'll be able to do this so i if i feel at all uncomfortable with my shoulder i'm gonna stop guys yeah we'll come get you well it's a good thing you're on the mid-range comfortable but not too powerful bike yeah We've reached our first challenge point, which is a hill climb. We're gonna start things off with the low range bike, the budget option, the Megamoto 212 it comes as a rolling chassis and it's bone stock. All it has is a uh, just stock Tillotson 212 on it. So Charles is gonna get us started off. We're gonna head up the hill, turn around once we hit the flat spot about halfway up and come back down and we're gonna time it. And uh, fastest time gets uh, a gold star. Well, I was going to say he's making quick work of that, but... Oh, oh. Oh. You okay, buddy? Yeah. yeah. Did, the, right. did the wheel get your leg? No, the frame did. Oh. I'm all right. 
You want to take a breather? It started bad and it ended bad. Well, you ain't done yet. <sighs> hey, just it, take a breather, man. Yeah. A little fast, a little hot, buddy. Huh? Coming in hot. Yeah, that helps. All right, so 118. And he only made it halfway up. <laughs> You're right, man. Yeah, I'm okay. I just I was doing something dumb, trying to walk it. Uh, it's okay. I, I learned my lesson. All right. Got the frame right there. Right on the shin. All right, well, while you're recovering, I can go. All right. Be careful, man. I'll try. I'll uh, abandon nope. ship if it's uh, too Don't bad. Don't let the trail take you to the right like it did me. No. I was wondering why you went to the right. It, it The rut it took went. me, and I couldn't get out, and there's no power. Yeah. All right. So Ike is up next. He's on the mid-range bike, which is a lightly modified Trailmaster MB200. It has a 196 engine with a stage one upgrade kit. It has a clear torque converter cover. It has these killer tires, which are night and day difference uh, versus stock tires. It has a uh, larger rear sprocket, which should help him get up that hill. It's got front brakes and another couple mods that I'll link in the description because I'm sure I can't remember them. Good luck, don't get hurt. All right. Be careful. Admit, man, the man is a legend. I, you know, he just <laughs> that wreck wasn't that long ago, no. and he's just scampered right up there. Anyway. <laughs> hey. Charles, he was way faster than you, and you didn't even make it all the way up. <laughs> I gotta say, I felt pretty good. That was that. really fast. That was a good one. Congrats, man. All right, I'm up. No pressure. How's the old shoulder doing? <laughs> My shoulder's fine. It's my hips that are getting me. Really? Yeah. Hey. How do you think he's going to do, bud? I, I think he's going to be really close to your time. Unless, unless he gets overzealous with the drop. Hey, man, does it matter if the numbers are upside down on this phone? No. Okay. He did warn us about that. I don't remember it. Yeah, he said the uh, the, the chain tensioner is uh, broken off. Oh, that might be no. a problem for this man. Does that mean I'm? Does that mean in the lead? Well, I gotta try it one more time. I gotta try it one more time. Okay, but it's not looking good. All right, hey, I'm gonna reset if it, that if one. it comes off again, we'll just DNF. Call it a draw. Yeah, Dude, draw. I, already, <laughs> I already laid it down on the hill, so you can't get any worse than that. There we go. Yeah, you can. Uh, you can. He cannot get off the start line. That's a little he can, <laughs> yeah, It's pretty bad. You go help him. Go help him. Hold on. Dang it, Bobby. Pit crew. Pit crew. Pit crew. Help. Oh, my. I see what you mean. My hips are hurting. Yours, too? It's got a broken tensioner on the chain. We don't want to push our luck. We don't want to. Yeah, we want to make, be able to make it out of the wilderness. Yeah, so. We don't have any tools. Yeah, we don't have any tools with us. Flyers, guys. That's oh, that is. Oh, yeah, yeah. He's got a 14 piece set right there. So, are. <laughs> Are you gonna just turn her around I'm there? I'm gonna turn it around. Okay, Charles, are you gonna give it another go or? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Because we need to have something to compare your time to. I feel like it, it would, I gotta give it another shot. Okay. That's all I have. Warming up the tire. I mean, it definitely looks bumpier. He is on a hard tail. He's on a hard tail. 
72. You were faster. Sweet. What, what did we get? <laughs> I don't know why that wore me out. Because we're at 8,000 feet. 5872 would be 5912. What? I lied. I oh. lied. You know my time? Yep. Uh, and I, you know mine? Yes, it's right here. <laughs> so we're on the count of three, we're going to start with the first All right. digit in our times. All right. You yes. ready? One, two, three, four. One, two, three, One. three. Ah! Oh. Good job. All right. Man. Good job. Your time was 4331. I'll take that. That was I'll, good. I'll take that. So you ran a 41. I ran a 41. That's good. Uh, so that, that was on the... I feel bad. I got two good shoulders. Yeah. It's no, it's, a, it's, it's okay. the mid range yeah. bike. Yeah, well, I, mean, I have rear suspension. Yeah, you can see that rear suspension working. Yeah, I yeah. think it, I, I wonder. You are you are bouncing bouncy like and, spin, and spinning every time. I every bounce. time you bounce, you're spinning. I lost speed. I, I probably was a lot. I felt like I was a lot smoother going up. I don't even know if a bigger gear would have helped me. Probably would have been spinning more. Boy, Possibly being the bouncing that I Possibly. got. So. so so that's all right. And uh, John DNF. Uh, because there's complications with the uh, bike. Chain keeps popping off. Yep. Well, the, Unless you the want to chain, try with the red one. The chain tensioner broke on the bike, so the chain is loose. And when he starts going up the hill, the chain slaps, and then it jumps off the sprocket. So I have a feeling that that bike would have dominated at this. Next up is a good old fashioned drag race. We're headed uphill, keeping it nice and short, about a hundred yards, but it should uh, give us an idea of where each vehicle lands in terms of horsepower. And of course we are at 8,000, 9,000 feet. So they're down on power, but they should be uh, about the same down on power across the board. Right, let's give Charles the break. Let's give Charles the break. Let's give Charles the break. Anybody have a, anybody want to contest? No, I think that was fair and square. High end bike, no brainer right there. I got the jump, and before I rolled the foot, you were already in front of me. Did you take second? He took second. Nice, so. that makes sense. You got the Tilly 212 on that. Yeah, he does have a bigger engine than I do. I have the stock 196 with a stage one, and he's got, well, a stock Tilly 212. Watch that step, fellas. That's a heck of a view. I gotta get a picture. That is a heck of a view. This is, this is beautiful. What a heck of a way to spend a few days at work. Oh, look, there's the, the start of the trail that we took, the left turn. It's like right there. We have one more challenge up our sleeves. You guys are gonna get a kick out of it. Let's do it. Third and final challenge. We're doing a timed rock crawl down a very intentionally rough area, taping bottles to the bikes. Whoever spills the least wins and has the lowest time. So our third and final challenge is gonna test our suspension with bottles of water. So what we've got here is we've got a bottle of water mounted to the front forks of the bike. We're choosing the front forks because all of us have front suspension of some sort and they're all different. This is a this is a pretty neat This is custom, here. yeah. Uh, and it's smooth. I'm sure it is. Uh, that one's a, a stock. Uh, Megamoto. Megamoto, thank you. 
and uh, this one's a stock uh, Trailmaster front end. So it'll be nice to see the different front ends. And well, I'm gonna just say skill is gonna. It's gonna be skill, guys. It's gonna yeah. be skill. So we chose a off road with lots of rocks, and it's gonna be downhill. So whoever gets to the bottom of the hill first and loses the least amount of water is gonna be the winner. So what you're saying is, if I get last, but I spill the least, I can still win? Yes. Okay. But I, I think there needs to be a twist here. You I think we need a Lamon start. Oh. Sounds good. Yeah, I nice. got a bum shoulder too. So okay. I don't know why you volunteered that, but I guess I'll take it. <laughs> I mean, it's cool. Yeah. So, uh, when do we take the caps off? Like when we're everybody's ready to go or once? I mean, I say we take it off, take them off right now. Okay. Gentlemen, are you ready? I'm ready. When the rock hits the ground, head towards your bike. Race has started. Okay. Here we go. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Just I like thought you were going to drop it at your feet. Here's the truck. Yeah, the, uh, that was me. Charles took a nasty spill. I, I definitely lost. I, I laid my bike down. Oh, really? That was brutal. That was brutal. Charles oh. laid the bike down. He's got about a third. It's a little less than half. It's all on me. Oh, goodness gracious. It'll be fine. That's going to be a bruise. Yeah. I lost quite a lot of water. I'm down to about a third, but I made it down here first for what that's okay, worth. You, you are below the blue line. I am Ike, above. Wow, Ike has more than half, I'd say. Nice job. But you lost Thank your air filter. I did lose my air filter. Um, so, I don't know, you got down first. You have less water. I have more water. I don't know, it's almost like a draw, isn't it? It's close real close and poor Charles that's okay I had a great day today up in the mountains with go power sports we're gonna go catch up with the rest of the guys but finally which one is your favorite which one would you recommend the uh almost stock trail master uh mb200 so the one you were on the red yeah. one the one I was front on. and rear suspension disc brakes up front disc brakes in the rear I mean, I mean it, you, you can't beat it it performed really well and it didn't break no. and it's the well, it's second to the cheapest. Yeah. I'd have to agree. My, mine was awesome. It's got crazy power reserve. It does. So much power. And yeah. it's very comfortable as well. But I think for most people, it's probably out of the price range. Right. Um, but the nice thing about the MB200 is that you can start with a stock one and just kind of like piece it together mm -hmm. uh, now, as you go. However, I did not ride uh, the bike that Charles is on, uh, mainly because my shoulder so and i might have really liked it it looks really cool and it performs really well oh it's a great Decent. it's a great riding bike it's just it all depends on the terrain you're going after yeah and exactly looks a little rough with that rigid rear system yeah, yeah. Rear, it's brutal yeah. out here for many bikes <laughs> yeah, definitely is. yeah uh anyway thanks for tuning in leave a thumbs up if you enjoyed check out go power sports for all your go-kart and mini bike needs you can find all these bikes and parts in the description of this video if you want to build one just like it uh we're gonna go catch up with the rest of the guys from go power sports thanks for watching and we'll catch you next time we're in the middle of shooting an episode and i'm exhausted charles is also exhausted for some reason ike is fine don't make no sense yeah. Since you're the injured one. And the oldest one. And the oldest one.